Okay, right where we left off. Alright, let's see what Peach is gonna be up to now. Hey, Twink, do you think... Would you feel like sneaking out again? Shall we try? Princess Peach! You've gotten so bold! And here I thought you were gentle and delicate. Oh, I... I am delicate. I'm behaving like a delicate princess, just like the ministers taught me to. I love to be delicate. Okay, okay, I believe you, Peach. You're the princess. Anyways, let's go for it. So, once again, press the button. Come on, hurry up. And we ran out of here. So this time, you don't really get a clue of where to go, but uh, I already know where to go, which is the... Room I accidentally went to the last time I did the Peach segment. Just watch out for this guy, though. So, back here. Huh? Oh, it's Princess Peach. How'd she get out? You know, he's gonna really flip his wig if we don't take her back. Now, hang on just a second. Get a grip of yourself, okay? No need to panic. She can't get out of the castle anyway. Besides, what do you think about asking Peach to participate in our little game? Should be ideal. And we need a third person. Hmm, yeah, yeah. You might be on to something. Let's do it. Mrs. Peach, have you been listening? Come this way. We won't tell King Bowser about your escape if you help us with playing this little game. We're set up right over here. Oh no, Princess Peach! And no one cares about Twink. Koopa Course presents the 64th Trivia Quiz Off! I'm your host, Mr. Hammer, not MC Hammer. I don't know where this crowd is. Let's get right to it! Hey, I'm gonna ask you 10 questions, and the consensus is the most right is our winner! Press A when you think you know the answer, okay folks? And when we get a gorgeous, fabulous prize. Good luck to all of you. Oh, I gotta tell you. We're giving other prizes just for participating. Everyone's a winner. Ready? Question uno. What's the name of the boss inside the volcano? It was Lava Piranha, not the Koopa Bros. And Goopa is too old now to be a boss. Let's go on to the next one. Question two. Where did the master have a pilot versus the Hussar spirit? Spiky Tom. In flower fields. That's correct. Okay, next. Question three. What is the name of the scary monster living in drive-by ruins? It is the Chomp, not the Goomba or Koopa Troopa. That's correct. Still got a chance to make a comeback. Question four. How would you like to go up here? How to get there, I mean. Spiky Tom! The uh, passing through the flower gate. That's correct. Still anyone's game. Question four. What's the name of the person who really loves? Bowser, King Bowser really loves? Prince of Speech. You already said the answer. You're not supposed to help us. Careful now. Question six. What is the most deeply related to the flower fields? Spiky Tom. Flowers! Because of course. Next question is the easy one, folks. What is the name of the most admirable, invincible, just downright cool guy around? The correct answer is Bowser, but we all know it's actually the Koopa Bros. That's correct. Eight. 
What's the name of the ghost who live in the mansion? In the forest. The booze. I don't even know why they have, even have Raven as an answer. Memory in this one. Question 9. Was the area just a uh, little town? Hmm. I wonder which one it is. Because I didn't read the question. <laughs> but just as uh, things there to know. I believe you can actually just mash A in this and you will actually win. The castle's above the Bowser castle. And the guy on the far right didn't even stand a chance. The 64th trivia quiz off has ended in great success. The winner is, wow, our unexpected guest, Princess Peach. Congratulations, here's your prize. We get a jam and jelly. If you lose, the guy on the left, Spiky Tom, actually gets the jam and jelly and he has his own animation for it. If you don't win, you just don't get it and you get the consolation prize. Thank you for coming everyone, it's been grand. We'll see you next on the, at the next trivia quiz off. The grand, the right's like, ah, screw this, I'm out of here. Oh, Princess Peach, I almost forgot. Here's your prize for participating. We get the sneaky parasol. If you face someone and press B, you can transform into that person. You have to promise not to use it to sneak around. I mean, nobody would know you were Princess Peach. Imagine. Sorry for giving you such a little prize, Princess. <laughs> hey, it's only a prize for participating, so what do you expect? Look who it is. Huh? What are you all doing? Hey, looks fun. I want to join. What? You already finished? Ah, oh, the rotten luck. Gah! Where's the speech? What's she doing here? She sneaked out again. Oh. Take Princess Peach back to her room. Now. Yes, sir. Sorry, Princess. No. And we're still in the Lava Lava Island. Oh, what was... No, hold on. Oh, what was me? My beautiful treasure. Listen, you. No treasure in the world is more valuable than life. Be thankful you escaped. To think this head is put in there because of Bowser. It will work out okay. The eruption will subside and Lava Lava Island will just be the same as it used to be. Even though it already is as, as it used to be. Uh. Dear Mario, you have saved five of us now. Just a few more to go. My name is Miss Star. Let me grant you power that will help you along. So our energy goes to up to five. We get the Smooch Star Spirit Power. Restore HP. I believe it's 20 HP. You don't like to Star Haven now. But if you need me, please call on me anytime. I'll be watching you and wishing for your success. I know you'll see the princess soon enough. Have faith. Thank you again for saving me. See you soon. And there she goes. Oh, I was so close. The treasure. Right there. And then I get saved by... Yelled by, by some blooming great starfish. Alright, I will actually go with Gubario. Actually, we're gonna need Sushi for a second, but... So, Colorado's upset, but if you recall... On the last episode, we saw we saw where that uh, treasure chest flew to. If you remember, it was actually where we met Sushi. So we'll go around this way. The Volcano Base! Treasure front inside Mount Lava Lava. So you might be thinking, uh, we should go talk to that bulb, bulb. Maybe they have the seat ready. Well, they'll tell us that they gave it to some uh, crazy dude. And you wouldn't you know it. He's our crazy dude. Here you go. 
Mario, good heavens, this is a treasure, how on earth did you... Well, I suppose that's no, no consequence right now. You're giving it to me? Yes. You're giving it to me? Oh, glory, marvelous. Dear man, you're quite simply the cat's meow. Cheers. Oh, yes, I suppose it's only proper I give you this to you as thanks. We get the last magical seed. A bubble gave it to me while I was off exploring. I'm sure it's quite valuable, but I'm not interested in it at all. Now I've got the treasure. I can come in this adventure to be a complete success. What a stupendous expedition. It will be forever recorded in the history of archaeology. Well, old boy. It's away. Back to Toad Town with us. <sighs> Sorry about that. Alright. I had to change my phone real quick. No, that's not what I wanted. Oh my goodness. My control stick. I really need a new controller. So we're just gonna avoid these uh, jungle fuzzies real quick. Let me check here. Gumbario is super rank, but we'll make it work. Well, well, Mario boy, took your time, eh? Let's get back together, hmm? Want to go back to Toad Town? Yes. What a heeny adventure. Adieu, Lava Lava Island. Perchance someday I shall return to your shores. <gasps> Look who it is. <laughs> <coughs> yes, I uh, did it. I swam all the way. All right, Mario. Now I'm going to give you a bidding you'll never. What? Wait. Where are you going? Wait. Mario, wait up. Come back here, you chicken. Shoot. We'll press A again. Nah, it doesn't work because of this cutscene specifically. And yes, your dear Troopa swims all the way back following us. <laughs> Alright, hurry it up, whale, or I'll call you Tuna. Like Samus, we were right. Now, tournament firing is one experience I shan't do again. Cheers for the ride, though. I'm in your debt. For now, I'm heading back to Koopa Village to relax. My wife must be waiting for me. Perhaps our paths will cross again in the future, old boy. Cheerio. And as we're going. Come on. Ugh. I will never swim again for the rest of my life. Also, I forgot to put on spike shield, which is, might be a problem. But anyways, you're mine now. Ah! So once more into the fray. <sighs> Here it comes. You, you better be ready. Uh oh. Ah, no! All that swimming. My HP is almost gone. Well, I'll make it up with my new skills. Check this out. More power. So now he's a flying spiked enemy. And all your fighting patterns now, Mario. See my gear? The spike? The winds? You can't attack me now. I'm the smartest fighter alive. I can't be defeated. <laughs> well, we'll tattle you real quick. It's you to Troopa. You swam all the way after us. This kid's got some guts. 
Meta's HP would be 40, attack power of 6, and defense of 1. He still flies, but now he has a spike. It'll hurt him jumping on him. He seems tougher this time. Luckily for us, he also looks pretty tuckered out. Well, we should be tired. Little guy swam to Lava Lava Island and back. Seems better to attack from a distance. Well, we'll switch to, uh... To, yeah, we'll switch to what? And I believe I don't have anything too good, so we'll just Thunderbolt him real quick. Youch! What in the... I didn't think you'd do that. Is that even legal? Yes. But yeah, his damage is no joke. We'll eat that bolt shroom now. <laughs> and since what penetrates defense, this will be a piece of cake. Alright, so this might be a good time. Uh, so, Smooch. Restores 20 HP for 3, so it's technically better than Refresh. But since we're gonna probably win, yeah, we're gonna win if I do this, so I'm just gonna Star Storm instead. <laughs> also, my words might sound a little different. I am sick. Unfortunately, the the C virus has taken uh, a hold of me. After two long, uh, well, actually almost three years now, of not even having it once. And we're gonna level up with this. Sweet. Alright, we'll take HP and we'll t start taking FP again. I would like to use more FP. Oh, you know what? Now that I think about it, I have wings. If I had just flown to the island, I wouldn't have wasted my HP. Then probably I would have been Mario in no time. Stupid, stupid, stupid. <sighs> Alright. So just like way back at the second fight, way back at after the first chapter, you can actually hit him. Ugh. That's Unitrupa. He used to boot us out of the forest near Goomba Village. He thinks he's pretty tough. Well, he must be if he boot you guys out. As far as I can tell, he goes around picking fights with people who are stronger than he is. Talk about dumb. His hobbies are working out and ordering stuff by mail. Hmm. I wonder why that second part of that's part of his hobbies. Anyways, uh, I need to switch my badges. All right, so I'm gonna take a quake hammer. I don't think there's any. Well, there is one spiked enemy in the next chapter, so I'm gonna take a close call, and that so I can put. A, I believe it's two, if I remember right. Where is it? There it is. Spike shield. Hmm. Yeah, that'll work. No, no hammer powers this time. I might use one briefly. Hey, look who it is. It's sister and mom. Mario, take care of my brother, okay? Come on, we're in a hurry. Seriously, you're obnoxious sometimes. Dang, dude, chill. Be quiet. Oh, Goombari, you're looking fine, aren't you? Better not be a burden. No way! I help all the time. Well, well, our dear little Goombari is helping out. I'm so proud. I'm gonna tell Dad and Goompa. You must, must come over to our house again someday. Oh, come on, Mom. You're embarrassing me. I'm not a kid anymore. Oh, don't be silly. I'm not saying anything embarrassing at all, pumpkin. I just love you, that's all. Can a mother be proud of her children? Oh, Mom, you always treat me like a kid. Yeah, yeah. Goombara's getting scolded. Shut up! Goombara's being mean. Alright. I believe this is not the only time uh, certain characters show up in other places, I believe. But I won't remember right now. Anyways, what we gotta do, though, is go here. Hello. Oh, we're just in a state of despair because of Bowser's minions. Please, save us! Hmm. And then there's this guy. Mario. Minty seems troubled. Well, let's talk to Minty. Bubbles come from a flower field land called Flower Fields. They say the flowers and flowers are in trouble. To get the flower fields, you need 
Four kinds of seeds. Only bubbles persist. But where are the bubbles? Please, Mario, you must look for the bubbles. Get the seeds from them. Maybe Merlon's fortress league could help you. Well, look at that. We have all four of them. Let's give me for a second here. Sorry, I had to blow my nose real quick. You brought a seed. Thank you. Give another one. Meh, meh. Come on, hurry up. And the last one. Wow, you're rubbing the seed. Meh, meh. And with all four flowers, the door appears from thin air. Ah! I can't, I can't scream right now. At first it used like flowers were blooming, but suddenly a door appeared. Must be. You must be able to go to flower fields. Mario, needs, uh, Mario flower fields needs your aid. Please help. All right, and we're going. Boom, and we're gone. Chapter 6. Dark Days in Flower Fields. Ooh. Now who might that be? Came out of my stomach. Ho <laughs> ho up here, son. They call me the wise Wister Wood. I'm the oldest tree here in Flower Fields. The line of trees, flowers, grass, and plants. And maybe even wheat, but we don't care about those guys. You must be Mario. I've heard a lot about you, son. You're trying your best to save the star spirits, aren't you? Very noble. That is true. Then your arrival means a star spirit is here. I would help you, but alas, I cannot right now. Flowerfish is in trouble. A creature named Huff and Puff and his followers invaded our fair land not too long ago. These creatures brought clouds to our sunny sky and it's been dark and cloudy ever since. The sun doesn't even bother to rise in the sky anymore. We're all weak and fading. The rumor is Huff and Puff is holding somebody captive. Of course, it must be the star spirit. Oh? Then they feed him? Well, that would make the wishes of flower fields come true. But it's not that easy. He's up in the sky, where we call the cloud cl cloudy climb. There's no way up there now. You might be able to reach it if you find a magical seed or something that grows high. Now wait a minute, I think there is a flower that has a magical seed somewhere. I believe her name is Petunia. Perhaps she's off to the east. You should visit her. Other flowers and bubbles might have some useful information. I'd say talk to everybody. No thanks. <laughs> we're gonna take a quick save, but we're gonna keep going. So he said to the east, you can talk to the bubbles. All of them are here. And then there's this guy. I'm gonna tattle him real quick. Oops. That's Toy Lip. He definitely knows a lot about flower fields. Fortunately, he's a liar. I can't figure out his riddles. Can't you, Mario? I wouldn't call them riddles. He just messes with you. Anyways, to the east we go. Hello, a flower. Dang it. Anyways, this is a crazy daisy. Crazy, they look cute, but you won't think they're so cute after they attack you. Max HP is 8 and attack power is 4. They attack by singing a song. Follow under the song spell, you'll fall asleep. If you get low, uh, HP low enough, they'll run away. You didn't click so, so they won't flee. So these is these are actually one of the more dangerous enemies in the game, actually. So we'll just bounce on these guys. Kill them. Let's see, will this guy attack me? Oh, they will. Let's see if I can guard it. La 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 Ah! Yeah, their, their attack's pretty hard to guard. It's like a little bit after the last note, like, flies by you. Anyways, they're worth two star points, so pretty good. Ooh, that's honey syrup. Actually, that reminds me I did not 
bringing you uh new stuff here. And you might remember these guys. I actually already fought these guys way back at the um, Forever Forest. Whoa! Oof. Come on! Dang it! Let's see. I believe one of these has something I need. Not that one! Oh, another honey syrup. They're being very generous for some reason. A little crazy, they see. Get whacked. They're also dropping a lot of money for some reason. I'll take it. Ah. We actually want to take off power bounce temporarily. And get on that hammer throw. We're gonna eat these red berries real quick. This tree always drops two red berries. I'm gonna leave and come back and pick up some more berries. We'll need them for later, at least one of them. All right, stuck to Petunia, I'm assuming. If you have a second, then listen to my sad tale. Ever since the sun went away, I've begun to droop. I have no energy at all. Without the sun, it seems the whole world is sad. Now these mountain bowls dig into the ground and bite my roots. Oh, whoa, it's me. Maybe my beautiful seed collection will become a mountain bowl bouquet if this keeps up. Please, sir. Look strong and capable. Could you get me, help me get rid of them? Sure. In case you're wondering, the mountain bowls I'm talking about are... This guy... And this jerk. And this troublemaker. And this wicked creature. This guy, you probably don't need to count, be concerned. Please don't fail me. My seeds are count, and I are counting on you to save us. So, these are stronger Monty Moles, as you can probably tell by their color swap. Uh, palette swap, I mean. Dang it. I'm gonna have to just use the hammer for the first strike, probably, now. Alright, so, we'll tattle the Monty Mole, even though it's this name from R Mount Rugged, yes. Nice HP is 12, attack bar is 3. They're vicious rock throwers. They may look intimidating, but they're not very strong. I mean, they have a good chunk of HP. But anyways, this is where our hammer throw comes in handy. So you saw my hammer do, I believe, well, 5 with the first strike, so it might be different. For some reason, these Monty Moles, they're weak to this attack. Watch. 12 damage with all my things that stack up. So I can literally one-shot them. Even the regular hammer would not have done that. So we're just gonna murder this guy. Goodbye. And we'll get rid of the rest of the Mountie Moles for Petunia real quick. But we are gonna switch to uh, Bombette. Since we got some honey syrup to work with, I'll probably just explode anyone that's still alive. Alright, we used up all our FP, but uh, I just need to... I'll oh, switch to... Oh, we'll go back to Gumbario. We might need him briefly for a little bit. Let's see, we'll use our two honey syrups that we got earlier. And I believe this next fight's actually just gonna be one Monty Mole, so it won't take very long. I won't even need to use FP. Come here. Oh, neat. More coins. And the spell ran out. Wow, three coins. Well, that was very sad. So, I'll talk to Petunia here. Oh, yippee! Hooray! Hurrah! Yahoo! Wee! You got rid of the Mountie Moles! Oh, thank you, thank you! To show you my, how grateful I am, I'm gonna give you this! Magical Bean! Here you are! So we get the Magical Seed. 
Yes, my name is Petunia. They call me the Seat Maniac. <laughs> nice to meet you. By the way, about the magical seed I gave you, you shouldn't plant it. Why not? Because as a seed, it will always enjoy freedom, even though it cannot move when it's just a seed. After its plant is sprouts up, it won't be able to move again. I mean, a seed cannot move by itself. It would need somebody else to move it for them, so their freedom is non-existent. They're actually safer in the ground because otherwise a bird will probably eat them. Anyways, do you think that's sad? Please don't plant it, it with, oh, for instance, fertile soil and miracle water. I don't want to think about a sprout growing out of my cute little seed. No. Well, too bad for you. That's what I'm going to do. All right, so uh, those Monty Moles won't show up again, I don't think. So uh, we're just going to go back to our power bounce. But real quick, let's take off multi bounce for a quick second. I need to check this room for a panel by doing this real quick. Nope. Oh, no, there is. Okay. Uh, here? Nope. That reminds me that Ultra Hammer can actually discover panels as well. If I can. Oh, there it is. A little faster than jumping around. Anyways. And with that, I'm gonna take off that batch. Put on the uh, multi bounce again. And I'll see you guys next time because we're just over time. So I'll see you guys next time and I'll meet, meet you guys back at the main area. So see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.